Right. David's making a gnome. That ain't what I asked. Yeah, just glue him on there. You just have a big beard. That'd be fine. As long as he can sit stable. And the beard doesn't stop him from sitting. Okay. <laughs> what? Nothing. Making fun of me? Nah. Sure. Now that glue gun will burn the far out of you. I have to put some more glue in it. Squeeze it with your hand, yeah. I need a smash. And I did pre cut his fabric and got his nose and his twine out. He picked his beard. pressure on it. You can fix the edges later. Yeah, and eventually you can push all the hair into the glue and pull it, make it look like it's round the whole way around. It's got beard the whole way around. Just don't burn yourself. And make sure you're pushing the hair to meet each other. That's what I'm doing. It's got a touch, yeah. You can you can deal with the bottom in just a minute. Just make it hold it and let it dry for a second. Turn around and get rid of his nose on. It don't go at the very top. I know one. No, no, fuck you, I got it. No, because the hat's gonna cover that. Right. You don't even need to worry about that. Please. Yeah, it, it don't matter. <laughs> it won't stick. Okay. Now your hat's gonna go right on the top of it, and you want your fabric to just cover over to hide all the rough edge in the wood. There. Yep. You can push the hair, hold it with your thumbs, and push the hair up around the edges to catch the glue and to hold it, to kind of glue the hair to the nose so it looks like he's got mustache and stuff. Now you have to let that dry for just a minute or you'll give him a nose job when you're putting his hat on. But you don't want to do that. You can if you want to. Just a tiny little and then spread it with the hair. That's buffalo. Too much. There you go. Walk in the sun so people can see him. I'm giving him a haircut now so he can stand up straight. While he's doing that, I have made a five gazillion Grinch. Some with antlers. There's my paw. Some hangs by his tail. Some that are like simpler are going to have a smaller price tag. And some that are a little bit more 
full of ribbons and stuff. This one's really pretty. And then this one's really pretty. The antler is a nod to Max the dog, which I'm going to be making a Max the dog too. Then my gnomes are up here. And then I've got some pine cone beard gnomes. And then some of the hat pine cone beard. So once I get all your ornaments packed up, my tree will be ready for my ornaments. But she fixed my stocking tree, added spaces for the dogs and the grandbaby and more grandbabies. And so I get to bring it in and put it up here in a little bit. Almost looks like me. <laughs> I don't think his beard's as long as yours. Not yours is longer. <laughs> There you go. I'll you let gotta, you do that. You're not going to put his hat on? I'm not a hat man. You don't even have to put an edge on it. Just let it have a salvage edge. Just let it have a salvage edge. Just let it be raw, and I'll cut the strings off after you get it together. But first, yeah, put it over and let it touch the top of his nose, because that's where you're going to glue it first. Yeah, it needs to touch. It needs to come down. Now, and don't pull it tight. It needs to rest right on top of his nose. You can glue it. Don't pull it super tight. It just needs to go around the back. It has to be loose. Just touch it to the nose for now. Let it dry for a minute. Once you get the back together, then you can kind of glue up the seam. He's trying to put the hat on now, and he's got so much hair, the hat's going to be kind of tight fit. Because that bison, that buffalo hair is full. It's pretty, but it's full. Overlap your glue to the fabric so it'll hang on to the other side of the fabric, too, so it won't move. Pull that fabric kind of to reach and almost over to lip it. There you go. Now let it drop it. It's messy, ain't it? I get to covering this crap. It ticks me off. Now I can fix all that and fluff his hair up and make the hat look better around his beard. So don't worry about that. As long as it's still hanging onto his nose. Looks like a chef hat. Chef hat? Yeah. You said chef hat? Chef. A chef. A chef doesn't have tea in it. It does in redneck country. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just pulling glue off. I know it's difficult, ain't it? Not too bad. What ear tastes the crap out of me? Now the side that goes under on the back, you want to pull up and do your seam up, and then the fabric that goes over will stick to the seam. Just a tiny little, just a tiny little. Now I will have to adhere his hat and fluff up the edge of the beard to cover okay. the edge of the hat. But uh, all that's left is to tie the top of the hat with a piece of twine. Mm -hmm. Well, at least cut the piece of twine for me. How long you want it? Like that long. Thank you. Okay, I'll finish them up and show you what it looks like. 